In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your remote connection between your computer and your controller. So what I'm going to be doing for this tutorial, I'm going to be using my Xbox remote, but this works the same for PS5 remotes as well. Switch remotes and other third parties work a little bit different, so that's for a different tutorial. So if we go on to our computer, what you guys want to do is go ahead and forget your current connection. So as you guys can see, once I turn on my device, it connects automatically, it starts to bubble. So what we want to do is we want to remove the old connection. So all we have to do is go to settings, then go to Bluetooth devices. So what you guys want to do is go down to the search bar, click settings, then go to Bluetooth and devices. Then we're going to go ahead and find our Xbox or whatever remote you have, and we're going to go ahead and forget it. So remove device. Once we removed it, we're going to try to do is connect it again. So we're going to click add device. And now we're going to go ahead onto our Xbox remote, hold the power and the above button. Now it's flashing and now we are in clearing mode. So what you just want to do is go ahead and click add device. Then click Bluetooth, the first one. You guys can see your remote has appeared. Go ahead and click it. And we have now established a brand new connection. After you guys finish that, what you guys want to make sure is you have your Fortnite clothes. So if you go down here to your bottom icon, make sure Fortnite and Epic is closed. And next, we're going to go ahead and turn off Steam Big Picture Mode. So a lot of people have used this in the past to use their Xbox remotes or any form of remote to connect to other games which don't have full compatibility with remotes yet. So what we want to do is go ahead and turn that off if you have it on. Uh, this is actually a big fix for a lot of people, so make sure to do this. So we're going to go ahead and open Steam. We're going to go ahead and go into Big Picture Mode, which is the top right icon. So in this mode, you're allowed to use your remote. So what we're going to do is go click Fortnite. We're going to click the Options button. And we're going to go ahead and erase and manage. Remove non-Steam game. Do the same for Epic Launcher if you have it. Manage. All right. And now that we've done that, we want to go ahead and ex exit this picture mode and launch Fortnite. Once we launch Fortnite, we want to make sure that Steam isn't actually open at the bottom. So what you guys want to do is go ahead down into the little arrow area, right click on Steam, and make sure it says exit. For some reason, every time I have Steam open, it messes up with Fortnite and it actually uses random inputs instead of using Fortnite's default. All right, and now that we're in this loading screen, we can go ahead and check to see if our remote's actually doing its job. And that's basically it. Let me know in the comment section if this worked for you below.